For number 3, we are going to find out which of these is the same as 7 to the second power times 7 to the eighth power. This is testing us about the rule of exponents, and of course, it's not fun for me to tell you the answer right away. Let's investigate together. Let me write down the question again right here. 7 to the second power times 7 to the eighth power. And we will focus on the first part, the 7 to the second power first. What does this mean? The power right here is the 2, and then the 7 is called the base. The power tells us how many times that we have to write down the base, and then we have to multiply them together. Therefore, the 2 right here tells us that we have to write down the 7 twice, and then multiply them together. 7 to the second power means that we are going to get 7 times 7. Two of the 7s multiplying together. And then let me bring down the original multiplication, the dot in black, and then we'll focus on the second part, the 7 to the 8th power. Same idea. The power 8 right here tells us that we have to write down the 7, the base, 8 times, and then multiply them together. So for the 7 to the 8th power, we will have 7 times 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 7. 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of the 7s in blue multiplying together for the 7 to the 8th power. That's the idea. And as we can see in this long expression, what's happening? All together, we have just a bunch of 7s multiplying together, isn't it? How many of them do we have all together? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of the 7s multiplying together. We can write this as 7 raised to the 10th power because once again, we have 10 of the 7s multiplying together. The base stays the same and then we can just add 2 and 8. That's how we can count the quick way. How many of the 7s that we have all together? 2 plus 8, that's how we can get the 10 in a quick way. The answer right here will be choice A right here. That's it. 7 to the second power times 7 to the eighth power. The 7 stays the same, but we add the exponent. 2 plus 8, that's how we get the 10.